I'm looking at Ahmad to be stronger this year. It is my goal that he will get his reputation. There are some people who doubt him and some say they want him to leave, but I think we, we judge too quickly without really analyzing the whole picture. And I think once this Chip Kelly offense kick in and the new defense coordinator kicks in, Ahmad Brooks is going to be a beast. Are you listening? <laughs> I thought I would do while we're waiting for the guys to get back off their vacation and back into camp in August. I said, why don't we, between now and then, since we don't have a lot to talk about because the, the guys aren't in camp, they're not providing any news or anything to, to talk about, not really, why not find out your favorite 49 Now We did this last week. Kwaski Tart was the first guy chosen, and this week, turn the light on Ahmad Brooks. I'll introduce you to who likes Ahmad Brooks in just a bit. But first, I have some things I want to say about Ahmad myself. <laughs> Starting with, have you ever seen Ahmad Brooks smiling? I checked all over the internet, everywhere. If you find a picture of Ahmad Brooks smiling, show me, link me up. Go to the comment section, put that link down there. I gotta see this. You, you know what though? It made me like this. We've never seen Ahmad Brooks smile because that's his image. Probably at home, he's probably the biggest cut up in the world. I mean, his kids think he's a joke. <laughs> Here's the thing. Ahmad Brooks, that's the kind of face I like to see. Ahmad Brooks looks mean, angry, and mad all the time. That's what a football player is supposed to look like. And he also culminates that while he's on the field. Nobody messes with Ahmad Brooks. Raider fans, out of that subject, I would like to say this. I just got into it with a Raider fan just the other day. He's going on and on about that one game that they won out of four years between the 49ers and the Raiders. Had Ahmad Brooks been in that game, and you know he was missing, had Brooks been in that game, you would have lost. Yeah, I said it. I said it with no shame whatsoever. And you go tell your boys that. You know where to find me. <laughs> I ain't gonna run. <laughs> Back to Brooks though. Did you love what Ahmad did just a few days ago? Anthony Davis, being his notorious self, Ahmad went in there and told him how he felt about his behavior. Jesus, didn't that feel good? Cause see, Ahmad, Ahmad did what we all want to say to Davis, or most of us. Because AD can go on and on with Trent for weeks as he has been. Some people are going to take AD's side. But the thing is, if another one of his boys say something about his BSing around, it's another story. If AD doesn't show up in August, it's over. There's nothing he can do. It's too late, and we'll be through with that. I'm looking forward to August. If he doesn't show up, over it. End. We just move on without him. He ruined last season and he's attempted to ruin this season. Surely I digress. Don't get me started on that boy AD. Don't let me get started. Ahmad Brooks is going to be running into a lot of competitive pressure. I mean, it's like you got Tank Carradine. I don't know which edge he's going to be coming off of. You got Eli Harrell who's chomping at the bit to get more snaps. Ahmad's got his hands full. But you know what? Here's the thing about Ahmad Brooks. Talking about getting a bang for the buck. I saw something very intriguing. I want to just run this by you. Ahmad Brooks, he is not the highest paid edge rusher in the league, right? You look at some of the other guys like Olivia Vernon. Olivia, five years, $85 million, 52.5 million guaranteed, 29 career sacks over four seasons, career high 11.5. He did that in 2013. Olivier is a standout, okay. It's a lot of money. You guarantee that kind of money. Malik Jackson, now here's the, here, here's the comedy. Six years, 85 million, 42 million guaranteed. 42 mil guaranteed. 14.5 stacks over four seasons. Career high six in 2013, all right? Bruce Irvin, 
Four years, 37 million, 19 million guaranteed. Those Oakland Raiders again. 22 stacks over four seasons, career high in 2012. Brooks, six years through 2017, 40.4 million, 8.5 million guaranteed. That's all he gets. 47.5 sacks over nine seasons. Career high, 8.5 in 2013. He'll get to 50 this year, no doubt about it. Considering the cost versus benefits of Brooks against those deals that I just mentioned, Ahmad is the man. <laughs> Let me introduce you to you right now, the person that picked Ahmad Brooks as their fave. Latin fam, I have one of the biggest Ahmad Brooks fans. And how many people do you know love a lot other than me and TZ? TZ, just explain your name to me. Pronounce your name. So I'm going to call you TZ just to make it easy. But how do we pronounce your name? You pronounce your name. Uh, it's it's Penjon. Right. Some people call it, you know, Penjon. Everybody want to sound make it sound French, but I'll take it as it comes. <laughs> I'm delighted that you picked out a mod Brooks myself. Look, from a lady's perspective, here's what I want to ask you real quick about it, before anything else I ask you. A mod reminds me of the most macho mod. You never see a mod does not walk around with a smile on his face. He looks like he's in a bad mood all the time. Does he remind you of one of the most macho guys you know? Am I right on that? Yeah, um, uh, uh, and it goes back to Alden Smith. You know, um, they take football very serious. They take their team very serious. And Alden Smith didn't smile at all. <laughs> For, for, for blood and so is Ahmad Brooks and that's what makes Ahmad Brooks great to me because he shows no favorites no matter what team you play against it's, it's you're in trouble no matter what team you want it, it doesn't phase him at all so, I would hate I would hate to be a person that actually made you never see anybody mess with Brooks you'll see other guys yeah. maybe get a little bit of little flack from another player nobody messes with Ahmad <laughs> Not at all. And for me, um, I'm looking at Ahmad to be stronger this year. It is my goal that he will get his reputation. There are some people who doubt him and some say they want him to leave. But I think we, we judge too quickly without really analyzing the whole picture. And I think once this Chip Kelly offense kick in and the new defense coordinator kicks in, Ahmad Brooks is going to be a beast. Unstoppable. So that would answer my question I was about to ask you. Do you think Ahmad Brooks, is it time for Brooks to hang it up? And apparently you don't think so. No. And I, I feel like he, uh, just like most teams, this, this does not cover the fact that it's just on uh, uh, last year's team. I mean, we did not have the greatest of experience last year. I thought you were going to say something about the defensive coordinators, but go ahead. Right. Um, you know, and it wasn't just on Ahmad Brooks. You know, the whole team didn't have a good season. So uh, we shouldn't kid ourselves around. Um, and, you know, I think this year Ahmad gets a chance to show, hey, I've still got a couple of years left in this tank. He's going he's gonna to be something. I'm waiting for him to just show up and blow up. Okay, now, TC, you've been looking at the rankings. Lately. There's been this ranking going on that keep publicizing. The players from 1 to 25. Ahmad came in at number 16. Now, I'm not, they're not through with it yet. So I'm wondering, I don't know who the number one player on the team is, but Ahmad, I, it, yes, I do. When they get through, getting through the whole list, they keep going up one player at a time every few days. It's going to be number one's going to be Bowman. I, 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 I got to believe that because he had the biggest records. It's somewhere between Bowman and Staley. But anyway, Ahmad's at number 16. But in your mind, as far as the edge rushers go, is Ahmad. Is he number one or number two behind Aaron Lynch? And where would you rank him right now as far as edge rushers go? Well, I'm going to be, have to be honest with you. I'm going to rank him number two. And the reason why for this is because he is still coming. He, he is still developing more. You feel able. To me, it seems like Ahmad Brooks is coming to be his own self. And I say number two is because no one, no one has been able to surpass Alden Smith yet. Remember, you got to remember, Aldous Smith was still a rare type of football player. 
somebody, no one expected an Alden Smith to even come on any team, let alone 49ers. So I feel like he is the, I feel like Alden Smith is the, he's no longer here. He is still the shadow of, of one of the greats, one of the hardcore hitters ever. So I think Ahmad Brooks will come up number two and anyone following behind Ahmad Brooks. Um, and because he's a veteran now. So the next that will step up, who will learn under Ahmad Brooks, who learned under Alden Smith, will be will be really, really tight. If, 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 we, if we keep this up, uh, we're gonna be the we're gonna be back where we were number one defense, number two defense of, uh, out of all NFL football team. I mean, top notch. I like that prediction because Eli Harold is he he thinks he's he's the next heir apparent. And then you got also Tank Carrot and coming out of nowhere, they're going to put him on the edge. We have, uh, uh, I understand they're also going to rush Tank and uh, Tank Carrot and Ahmad Brooks, Eli Harold, also DeForest Buckner's going to be rushing off the edge, from what I understand, along with Eric Armstead, Ronald Blair. The defensive attack this year, nobody knows what's coming. This is why I'm excited about what's going to happen with the defense this year. Everybody's reckoning the 49ers defense is going to be last. I said, you guys don't know nothing about the 49ers defense. But some of the plans are being revealed, but people are still saying the same stupid thing. Especially BSPN. I hate that network. I know. They, it, it, and it's never, it's never anything new with that. But I must say this. Uh, Amal Brooks have proven to us, to the fans, that in the faithful, that he is one that will beat that's a niner and he will roll with us okay he can play he's, he's physical he's nasty but you know when you talk about you know the forest Buckner, okay he's gonna come up but i hope he's not another name brand player tank carity it's been two and a half years i haven't seen anything from him yet so i i can't I can't sit here and say, oh yeah, Tank Carradine is going to do this and do that. No, I, I have to see something because it seems like some of the fans are wrote or speaking on Tank Carradine like he did something, like he did an August Smith thing or, or Ahmad Brooks. And yet, and then uh, Eric Armstead, I see nothing. He did nothing for me. Nothing. And I just think he needs to step it up. I think he should step it up or, you know, Go back to phase one and, and see what, what you're missing personally and come back and do something different. Because he, he hasn't done anything for us, you know, to be honest with you. Uh, he, he's coming out of his rookie year. Let's, we'll, we'll, give, we'll give him this year. Then we'll, we'll uh, put, the, put the judgment on him at the end of this season. That's he, what I want to see. Yeah. I think, I think, I think he, should, he should do another year and see where he I me. Mean, and because it also, once again, it goes back to what I was saying about, again, the coaching staff wasn't really... It was, we might as well throw last year's out the window and pretend like this is our new year. Um, and because you got to realize with Coach Harbaugh involved, it was savage. Without Coach Harbaugh, we plummeted. And it was nobody's fault but that front office. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> That's a whole other show right there. Listen, I, I'm dying to beat the Hawks, teasing is this the year? I'm glad. Are we going to stop the bleeding? I'm sick and tired of the Seattle Seahawks. This is my pet peeve this now, season. If we don't beat anybody else, can we beat the Seahawks this year? I'm going to tell you how we know we're going to beat the Seahawks. And, and this, this start back. Let me tell you why we're losing to, to Seattle, okay? So we ain't going to keep on saying the referee. <laughs> but a lot of the fans keep saying that Kaepernick is old is something to the Seahawks. And I know that to not beat you at all, so I got some facts. Let me pull out some facts for you. I'm going to read it to you, okay? So you'll see what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Everybody want to talk about the past with the Seahawks and say they've been beating us since this time, this time. Well, let me tell you how we started whooping them and they were coming back. Uh, September 9, 2011, 33-17, 49ers. That was with Alex Smith, the last, the beginning of Jim Harbaugh era. 12-24-2011. With Kaepernick, 19 to 17. 10, 18, 2012, 13 to 6, 49ers. Okay, then, uh huh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, 12, 12, 28 to, to 2012, 13, 6, Seattle. 9, 25, 2013, 3 to 29, Seattle. They beat us real good. 
Then on my birthday, 12 8 2013, we see Seattle 19 to 17 at Candlestick Park. This is with Colin Kaepernick again. So he got three up on the Seattle Seahawks. Okay. And then we plummeted from that point on. We we did not we did not get back. And we can't talk about the Tom Sula era again because we lost to them twice. And that's during the Tom Sula era. So we should just throw that out. Okay, but um, oh, but TZ, I gotta remind you, we lost to him with Harbaugh a couple of times, few times too. But well, listen, tell you what, what do you think is gonna happen this year? Well, let me tell you, so with Harbaugh, we lost to the Seahawks three times, sweetheart. You know, no, I know. I, we haven't beat them since the playoffs. So we beat them four times with Harbaugh. We beat them. So we won the okay. <laughs> and, that's what, and, and that's it. All right. And, and, and okay, okay, go okay, back and okay. that's okay about that. But this year, do you think is that going to change? I mean, can we beat them at least yeah. once out of twice? I think we're going to get back. They're going to let Kaepernick beat Kaepernick. Uh, Chip Kelly likes what he sees. You know, he, he likes this whole thing. I mean, from what I'm hearing right now, I'm hearing a lot of real true faithfuls do more digging than I do. <laughs> and they come up and you have some that film the, the, the camp. And I hear people say that, you know, Kaepernick is not clear to practice, but that's all. We'll, we'll grab that line. Before we go, though, got to get you the holler. I'm going to count you down to three, two, one, three, two, one. One. 49ers! See, I really feel like she's at the park. See that? The claps and everything else? That's a, that's a, anybody else from now on, that's your standard right there. <laughs> Thank you, TZ. And that girl, what she loves is some Colin Kaepernick too. I guess it was a, I guess it was a toss up. She could have took either one today. <laughs> Remember to get in contact with me if you want to be one of the people in the next four weeks, and four weeks after this one, who's going to pick out their favorite player. I'd love to hear from you. Let's do this video and praise whomever it is you love. Coming up this weekend, I will be back. We will be having the 49er Empire meeting, you betcha. Saturday, as per usual, go to Rumble Sports, the fan page. All the information on how to join the gathering will be listed there right there for you to get all the information you need and please go by all the directions please on the same day as sunday there will be links and listen i want to explain something to you right now real quick there'll be two links okay there will be those who want to participate by adding substance to the meeting and then there'll be a link for those who just want to watch pick the link for your particular agenda please if you don't have anything to say just go to the watch it's cool <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being on the watch link, okay? But if you have something to say, please get over to that other link. We want to hear from you, I guarantee you. All right? And the podcast will be coming up in a few days. I'll also be posting that. All of that good 49 stuff, because that's what we all about on Rockbox Sports. Hit like if you do, please. Share and subscribe so I'll be able to find you when I come back to talk to you. See you Sunday. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine. 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 Nine.